This is so good. Yeah, it's sunburned. Oh, trash. Wear your sunscreen. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Week. Today is a holiday here in Ontario. It is like May 2 4 weekend, is what we usually call it, even if it doesn't fall on the 24th. I'll never understand that. Um, this, this year it does. No, this year it falls literally on the 24th. Today is the 24th of May, and it's Victoria Day, so we, it's a public holiday. Even if it's not the 24th, like we always get this weekend, um, we get the Monday off. So. That's what we have today. We still can't really do anything in our province because we're pretty locked down, but they did actually just allow us to have outdoor gatherings of five people. So today we're actually gonna go out and we're, we're driving to visit my mom. She lives in um, like the Niagara Falls area. So we're gonna go to see her for the first time. This is her new house. I haven't been there yet. I haven't actually seen and visited with my mom since like two weeks before Christmas. So that's pretty wild so we're gonna go and we're just gonna like sit in their backyard we're gonna have some lunch uh, we're gonna do it like socially distanced and then it's gonna be really nice because we haven't been out of the house in so long and like I said I have only been able to like see them virtually for like six months so it's pretty wild and then after that we're actually gonna drive to Brantford and we're going to visit with Chris's family we're gonna have dinner with them same thing backyard six feet apart but anyways we just got breakfast uh, this morning I had my cereal like I always do it just holds me over until I feel like I actually want breakfast and then we ended up stopping at, I don't know if you can see it, Kettleman's Bagels on our way out of town. Today I switched it up. Usually I get the lemon cranberry, but I got the herb and cheddar with the plain cream cheese. I just wasn't in like a sweet mood, but we are stopping at Starbucks, so I'll get my sweet fix that way. Um, but that is the update for now. I hope you are excited for another What I Eat in a Week. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, our Starbucks for the drive. Today I didn't feel like coffee. I've got a venti passion tango tea lemonade. I got light ice, four pumps of the liquid cane and four pumps of raspberry. Highly recommend trying this out. It is so, so good. This is caffeine free. I wanna save my caffeine for this afternoon because I wanna get like an energy drink, so. worst because I completely forgot to film anything that I ate today pretty much uh, so basically we went to my mom's house today which is really really nice it felt so good because like I said we haven't seen them since Christmas we were there for a few hours we had lunch I had a wow the Sun is just like lovely I had a like Greek chicken bowl like with some rice and feta and green peppers and olives and tomato cucumber lettuce like all that kind of stuff that was pretty good and a couple french fries and then we drove from Welland to Brantford and we had dinner with Chris's family and we ended up getting a place called Camp 31 which is barbecue so like I had some ribs a couple chicken wings um, some cornbread mac and cheese all of that good stuff but that's all I've eaten I'm so sorry today was just a busy day we're just soaking up the family time that we actually got to have today so I will obviously be home for the next few days so I will definitely be sharing what I'm eating then um, so I will check back in with you guys probably tomorrow morning then good morning guys it is Tuesday and I'm about to make breakfast first off though I forgot to mention a couple of things yesterday one I got a haircut if you can tell it's nice and it's like kind of short I am so happy because I haven't had a haircut since like July 2020, I don't think. And my hair was just feeling so gross. Like I was getting to the point where I would like wash it, style it, all that, but it was just so straggly and dry and dead that it just looked so, so bad. So I was like putting it in ponytails and buns and I don't like wearing my hair up very much. Um, so it was really tough, but my mom is a hairstylist. So like I said, we did hang out in her backyard yesterday. We wore masks, she cut her hair in the backyard. But I am so relieved, like my hair looks so much thicker and healthier. We were kind of just like, just like cut it all off, like cut off all the dead and like let me start fresh. And then the other thing is, I got a sunburn, like an idiot. 
don't know if you can tell. You can't, you literally can't tell at all from this lighting, but I will put a picture here that I took last night when it was way worse. It's gotten a bit better today, but Chris is way worse off than me. He's got both arms uh, and both of his knees are so, so red. The worst part is we were only in the sun for like 40 minutes while we were planning what we wanted for lunch and then we went and sat in the shade. So I was just an idiot because I haven't been, I don't think I've spent a full day outside in literally a year like since last summer 100% I haven't spent a full day outside so you just you just forget like you don't think about it I figured we'd just be in the shade the entire time I didn't realize like how much damage can happen in like 30 to 40 minutes in the sun so take that as your note kids the sun is hot this year wear your sunscreen but with that from yesterday I feel like I got hit by a train I'm so tired this morning I literally looked like I got hit by a bus so makeup is doing me so well today I want some breakfast ASAP I really want some coffee I might make myself a coffee I don't have my creamer though so we will see but I do have this Siggy's creamy coffee flavor Greek yogurt thank you so much for telling me that they have this in Canada because I found it on the grocery gateway website and the coffee flavor that sounds so exciting so this has 17 grams of protein 13 grams of sugar and 180 cows and six grams of fat so that should be like super satiating I don't really feel like eating but I'm hungry so I'm just gonna eat this and then maybe have a coffee and see how I feel yeah let's do that <laughs> Also, I just want everybody to know that I totally stole that transition from Tara and Michelle. Uh, I have no shame. It's a great transition, but I think that she deserves full credit, so just so you're aware. <laughs> I just thought I would taste test this Greek yogurt with you because I'm super picky about my Greek yogurt and I'm very interested to see how this one is. No. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it, but that's super not my thing. It's super thick, which is, it's like a little bit too thick for me. It's very Greek yogurty, whereas my lemon lime is very lemon limey. I prefer that one a lot more. But if you like really, really thick and creamy, this is for you. Excuse me while I uh, suffer through this. <laughs> You guys, I had one bite of this. This is so good. Like, like a restaurant good. Mm, like I, like I'm, I'm stunned. <laughs> it looks so creamy and I really didn't think it was going to be. I was very nervous. The sauce was gonna be too thin, but it was perfect. It was very flavorful. And the pasta noodle is fun. Yeah, this is great. Okay. So we just ran out uh, for a little bit to go pick up my book from Indigo. This is the second book in the uh, Discovery of Witches books. This weekend I finished the first book and then I immediately watched the entire first season and now I'm going to try to finish this as quickly as possible so I can watch the second season. Um, but we came out, we went to Shoppers, we had to pick up a couple things like sunscreen, I ran out of my cereal, uh, dish soap, that kind of thing. And we were out and we're just still kind of like feeling meh like after the long weekend so we just decided we're just gonna buy dinner tonight and pick it up so we're getting firehouse subs and when we get that home i will show you what we usually get okay so here's what we got chris and i always get two large sandwiches and split them in half so this is the uh large turkey bacon ranch so i like 
onions. I like a lot of onions, so I get onions on mine. It's mayo, bacon, we got turkey, some cheese, lettuce, tomato. Uh, Chris doesn't get onions on his. And then this is the like smoked brisket and cheddar. I get no mayo on this one, so it's like barbecue sauce, some cheese, and some brisket. And we love firehouse subs. All right, so I'm making lunch now. It's super early, it's 11.46. I don't make lunch at this time usually, usually it's around one, but I slept in a little bit today and I just haven't been in the mood for breakfast, so I figure I'm just gonna skip to lunch and then if I feel like it, I can just have like a bigger snack this afternoon. Uh, lunch today is chef's plate. We've got Greek turkey meatballs with roasted veggie medley and a dill yogurt sauce. Here's the card for you. It's a 25 minute meal, so it should be pretty quick and easy, which is what I'm aiming for right now. This is dinner tonight, we have some potato wedges, this is a pesto uh, aioli, this is a burger with some of the pesto aioli on the bottom, some aged cheddar, this is roasted jalapeno and tomato slices on this bun here. This was another chef's plate meal, these are the pesto beef burgers. I ended up using light mayo for my pesto aioli just because this is quite a heavy meal, um, but I'm excited to try it out. All right, so this morning I had my usual Kashiko Lean Chocolate Crunch. I just love this cereal so much. It fills me up and really fuels me for my workout. I had a serving of that with some almond milk and my pre-workout. Now it is 9.30. I am just having a uh, half of a protein shake because I'm not super in the mood for breakfast, but I definitely do want just like a little bit of something. And then I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs to have for this week. I might have it for breakfast today too, but I just wanna show you guys the best way to hard boil your egg to make them the easiest to peel. Don't fill it all the way, but bring a pot of water to boil. Once it's boiled, you're gonna add your eggs, boil for 30 seconds, and then reduce to a low simmer and let them cook for 12 minutes. And then you'll take them out and put them in a bowl of cold or ice water. And then I will show you how easy they are to peel. All right, sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background, but here's the eggs now. So like I said, I simmered them with the lid on for 12 minutes, took them off the heat, took them out of the water and put them into like cold water. Um, you can do ice water as well. That's what they usually recommend but like I haven't had a problem with just the cold water. Do this in the water and I'll actually just like crush the egg gently like this. And then usually near the bottom there's like a hollow part and you can start the peel there. There's a lot of water in this one because it was cracked. But this will literally start to just like, it's the easiest thing ever. Especially if you can get under, there's this like, what's that word here? Like this like barrier. Once you get under that, I think that's what happens when you put it in the hot water and then put it in the cold. Um, it breaks that part away, like it separates it from the egg. Before I was having an issue because I was doing a cold start with the eggs, like I was putting them in cold water and bringing it to a boil, but I think it doesn't let it like detach, I'm not really sure. There's a couple weeks where I sat for like, like 10 to 15 minutes just trying to peel my freaking eggs. It was awful and now it takes me like three minutes to do all six. Like look at how easy this comes off. It's so satisfying. Especially when you can get like the full, like are you kidding? So we actually ended up ordering McDonald's breakfast today um, just because Chris has been really, really craving hash browns and also because he saw an ad that the bagels are back. So he really wanted one. So I grabbed a hash brown because they're like disgustingly delicious. And then I got, this looks so gross, but I got an egg McMuffin, but I got no cheese and no butter just because I don't really care for the cheese and the butter is just kind of like unnecessary. I don't really taste it. I did leave the meat on. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat it all or not. I usually just like the English muffin and the egg, but I also, like you saw, had that half of a protein shake. So this is plenty of food for me. I belong, I belong to you.
Friday. Sorry that I haven't like shown my face on camera in the past few days. I just have not been feeling very good this week. We had a long weekend and I'm already like so thrown off on my routine on the weekends, let alone like giving it an extra day to be off my routine. I felt like like I had a pretty pretty bad like sunburn on my arm and I honestly think that that like really took it out of me. So then Tuesday I felt like I was recovering from the weekend and all of that and I like kind of slacked on my habits. I didn't really get any work done. We got takeout on a night that we normally wouldn't have and then I just feel like this entire week I've just been like feeling just meh. Um, I don't know, some people were saying it's because of the full moon, which I totally believe in. And I also am getting my period today, like literally any minute now. <laughs> so I feel like crap, like physically. The past two days, I've only been able to do half of my workouts because I'm doing them and I'm just like, if I do the next round, like I might pass out, like I feel terrible. So I'm trying to listen to my body. Started both workouts because I wanted to make sure that I was not working out because I genuinely didn't feel good um, and like I didn't have the strength and the energy to do it not because I just didn't want to so I did the first half of both of the workouts um, the warm-up and cool down and everything was just like my body can't handle this today so we're gonna take it easy allow myself to like rest and recover so that's where we're at now I'm definitely going to vlog the next two days for you and we'll be back on our normal thing uh, but it is like 10 40 I took my sweet time getting ready today I'm running a little bit behind and I've got to get some work done so I'm gonna go really quickly make a super quick breakfast and we gotta get started on the day Alright, so I figured I would try this with you guys. I'm not the biggest like peanut sauce person, but I thought the meal looked cool. So I figured I'd try it, but I've got some of the salad mix that has like that peanut dressing. It's pretty mild, we're good. I'm gonna try a couple of the potatoes. They're not super flavorful, to be honest. They just taste like potatoes. Have some of the chicken. So this is cool because the chicken actually had to marinate. I haven't done that with one of these recipes yet, I don't think. Pretty good. I like it because it's like a like a nutritious meal. It has lots of flavor. Also, if you've never had chicken tenderloins, highly recommend. They are by far my favorite way to eat chicken. They're the best to like reheat. They're so much more tender. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna eat this and then we will check back in later for a sec. So Chris and I just ran out. We just got a bunch of crap. Um, we have dinner ordered pizza night so that should be here in about 15 minutes and then we're having like a movie night and we're gonna watch all of the Fast and Furious movies not tonight obviously we're gonna try to get at least two done tonight the ninth movie is coming out the like the end of June so as long as we have them done by then uh, we just kind of like want a refresher and it's just kind of fun to like watch a series but let me show you all this crap that we got um, so if you guys didn't hear Lay's came out with new flavors at least here in Canada honestly I don't know if it's here in the States um, but Lay's potato chips are the best potato chips like hands down they're so thin and light and crispy 
the best potato chip. I'm just like so bored of the flavors. I'm always craving Lay's, but like I'm so over the flavors. I've had them all so many times. So they finally came out with new flavors and they're called the like inspired by. So this is the Lay's white cheddar. They're inspired by the smart food popcorn. So you can actually see they've got these here. We bought all three bags. Uh, sweet Chili Heat, like the Sweet Chili Heat Doritos, and All Dress, like the All Dress Ruffles. These ones by far were the best. We ate those last week, so we picked up two bags, one for Chris, one for me, and then some classic Canadian coffee crisp for Chris. He just was oddly craving it. And some Kit Kats. I don't know the last time that I actually like sat down and ate a Kit Kat that wasn't from like my candy funhouse taste test. We're like kind of big like energy drink people on the weekends. We don't really drink them any other time. I don't drink. Um, I don't really do anything like that. Not that I like never drink. Just like I just don't do it often really. My little guilty pleasure is definitely an energy drink. I like to just like sip on one slowly all day long. Um, they just taste good and I love the bubbles. So I got a uh, white monster and then I got the mango loco monster as well as a uh, watermelon red bull. <laughs> I usually only have like one on a weekend, maximum two. These are just kind of like to refill the fridge, you know? Um, this is the dragon fruit red bull for Chris. This one's good, but not my thing. Rockstar punched and the regular Rockstar. Chris is obsessed with these sour chewy nerds. We got two bags of those. And we're gonna go watch a movie and I'll show you when the pizza gets here. Pizza is here. This one's looking a little bit crispy, but it's okay. This is a place called North of Brooklyn. This is their New York cheese. We add light on the pepperoni because usually they send a lot of pepperoni. I like the New York cheese better than their regular pepperoni pizza. Um, it's just different cheeses and a different crust. I just like this better. And then this is their kale and bacon. It's like a garlic oil sauce. And then is anybody else uh, nuts like me and like sauces? This is a new thing for me, but I need all these sauces. So this is a sauce that we got from them. It's their like garlic parm sauce, some barbecue, some honey with chili flakes, ranch and a sriracha ranch and I dip my crust in it. I just like the variety. Today is Saturday, which means today is the last day of our what I eat in a week. I am making breakfast right now because on Saturdays we always have a breakfast FaceTime call with Chris's parents uh, and grandmother. Right now I'm literally just making something super easy. I have toast here. We keep our butter in the fridge so I just put two little like slices of butter on each piece so that it can like melt and then it'll become spreadable. You can tell it's working. And then I have eggs going here and I'm trying to cook them like low and slow um because I'm just like experimenting with my eggs just made lunch really quick it's like two o'clock we stayed on that call for forever today um so I just quickly threw together some leftovers I'm never in the mood to cook on Saturdays which I talk about all the time but I've got some like little pico that I made up it's just tomatoes red onions and lime juice salt and pepper and garlic powder this is ground turkey with corn uh sauteed with like taco seasoning a little bit of sour cream and then this is actually a brown or like wild rice minute rice cup that I literally put in the microwave for a minute because we had it and it was gonna go bad in like July and that's just what we felt like today so I mean like it's healthy <laughs> it is like 5 30 and I am having a snack I'm so proud of myself I am so so bad on weekends with like keeping my routine and my structure. I'm trying really hard because I was just eating like some snacks for the afternoon while I'm watching TV and I tried to pace myself with the snacks and go like slow and listen to my cues and stop eating them before I got sick of them. I got up and I went to the bathroom and I came out and I said, don't sit down, make a snack. Here we go, I've got two servings of veggies here. So, so far I've had three today. Um, and my goal is usually five. I don't know if that's gonna happen because we are getting takeout and I don't know what we're getting, but I am proud of myself for like getting up off my butt and making a little snack. So I have some green peppers, yellow pepper, celery, and this is like the Hidden Valley Ranch dip. And I'm just gonna go back to watching TV. Today has been quite the day for television for me. Um, I watched The Bold Type season five, episode one this morning. And then I watched the episode of Dynasty from this week, the episode of Queen of the South from this week. Um, what else have I watched? Right now I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, and then I have a Handmaid's Tale episode, and then the final episodes of Lucifer, episodes 9 through 16 got uploaded this week, so I'm gonna dig into those. It's quite a lineup. I don't really get a lot of time to watch like my shows during the week, so that's what today is. Chris is watching basketball, but I'm gonna 
eat my veggies and get back to it. So funny story about dinner. Um, we ordered our food like a while ago and we get this call and it was the DoorDash customer service saying they were sorry but our driver dropped the food off at the wrong address and that the people opened the order and realized it wasn't theirs and asked if it was okay if they still deliver that order and we said no because like there is no way for us to know what was and wasn't touched and that just like really didn't sit well with us let alone being like covid times so we said like we weren't gonna accept the food so fortunately they like it was no problem they just put through like a re-delivery so now we're waiting for dinner all over again um we're super super hungry the food's coming like an hour later than it was supposed to that's a pain in the ass and they were nice enough to give us a five dollar credit for the inconvenience whatever so that'll be here soon and then i'll show you what we ended up getting okay so our food finally got here it's like after eight but it's fine uh we got a place called wilbur mexicana they've got really really good tacos chris got a burrito and we got some chips and salsa and guac this is their pico chris took half that's why the containers look like this but this is their pico de gallo their guac is so so good got a side of chips this one i think is chicken or pork i'm not sure with like an avocado crema this one, their battered fish is so, so good. And then again, this one's like a chicken and this is a crispy uh, shell. I'm so excited for this. I like this a lot because it feels just a little bit like lighter, I guess, like fresher than like a burger night or something like that. And I like this because it just feels like, like healthy and fresh. I love that. All right, guys, so it is Sunday now and our What I Eat in a Week is over. That being said, that is it for today's What I Eat in a Week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you back here on Monday for my next video. Bye.